Yo guys, what is up, and welcome back to a brand new video. Inside today's video, we're going to be taking a first look and reviewing my brand new Shimano Corrado K. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so as you guys might know, I recently got my hands on the Shimano Corrado K over the holiday season, which I'm super thankful for. And today we're going to be taking a first look and reviewing it since I have used it a few times on the water. As you can see right here, I just got it on my Guggen Gold Series rod, rigged up and ready to go. But let's first take a look at the box. It's your pretty much standard um, Shimano box that comes with most of your other reels you're going to get. Let's go over some of the specs that they give on the side of this reel. I know some of you guys don't really care about this, but if you're like me, you like looking into this stuff. So this is a 7.4 to 1 gear ratio reel, which is absolutely my favorite reel for all around bass fishing. It has a 11 pound or 5 kilogram max drag, which is pretty standard for most bass fishing reels and most Shimano bass fishing reels. It weighs 7.6 ounces, which is again pretty standard. It's pretty light reel, uh, but standard among other flagship Shimano reels. It is a 200 size reel, um, which is slightly bigger than the Shimano Karate DC, which has a 150 size spool, which I actually really like about this reel. You can spool up a little bit more line, and uh, it feels a little bit more versatile for bigger baits than the uh, Karate DC. Uh, but like I said, this is the Shimano Crado K. Um, it comes in at about $180. There's definitely a little bit of price variation, but $180 is uh, a pretty reasonable price that you can get on this reel, which is $70 less than uh, the Shimano Corrado K, which comes in at $250. I'm not going to be doing a whole comparison between these two, just because this will mainly be on the Corrado K, but I'll do a few points talking about hey, this differs or the similarities to the Corrado DC. So let's get this off the rod and talk a little bit more about this reel. Alright guys, so we got the reel off of the rod and the first thing I could say about this reel, it is super cool looking sleek reel uh, that is super comfortable to fish with. You got that matte black on the body of the reel, that dark gray, black. You got the silver on the, silver on the drag system and the handle as well as that gold accent on the tension knob, which I think really brings it together and actually goes really well with my rod right here, but that's the besides the point. As for how it fishes, it is super comfortable in the hand. You got super smooth surfaces. I have pretty small hand and it fits in my pr hand pretty well. It's obviously going to be a little bit better for someone who has a bigger hand, but even with my small hand size, it is super, super comfortable to fish with, especially paired up uh, with a nice rod like this. It is super, super smooth reel, and that's the one thing about this reel that I absolutely love. It is so smooth, and even compared compared to my Corrado DC, it might even be a little bit smoother than the Corrado DC, although that reel is pretty incredible as well. I've only fished with it for a few times, so over time it might get a little bit less smooth. I don't have any idea about the longevity of this reel, but based on the first few times I've fished with it, it is super smooth, super fun to fish with, and as you guys could see if you watched one of my previous videos, and I actually probably put a clip right above here, but I was fishing a super, super light uh, Guggenbaits Dragon Drop, which is just a small 4-inch drop shot worm, and this reel had really no trouble fishing with it in the wind, so a super light bait, and in my backyard I've just been casting around big swim baits, jigs, some heavier baits, as well as those lighter baits as I mentioned. And this reel can really handle anything that I throw on it. I like that bigger spool size for casting those larger baits, like those big swim baits. But even though it is a larger spool size, which is not necessarily known for being uh, good for casting light baits, as you guys can see, these reels that have been coming out have like 50 size spool size rather than a 200. Um, those are supposed to be good for casting light baits. But this one has really no trouble with it. Now, you're probably not going to be able to throw a trout magnet or something that small. But even throwing pretty much your smallest bass gear, like a small drop shot worm, weightless, this reel had really no trouble with it. Casting into the wind as well. Just have that tight tension low, drag set down. And it really had no trouble with that, which is why I really, really do like your this reel. As you can see the little dial on the side. I've done the third setting since that's for fluorocarbon. The fourth setting, I did put it on while I was casting that wacky rig because it is for heavy wind or in this case, light baits. The first setting and the second setting are for mono and braid. 
I'm not sure the exact order in those, but those are from Mono and Braid. I definitely use fluorocarbon the most, so that is setting number three and setting number four for heavier wind days and uh, lighter baits. But overall, I don't want to make this too long of a video. If you guys are thinking about buying a reel, I would definitely recommend this. Since it does come in $70 cheaper, um, you can get it for $70 cheaper than the Corrado DC. And for the, the minimal amount of times I've used it, I would say it's probably not as good as the DC just because that's pretty revolutionary. But it is definitely really good and I would pretty much have it equal to the DC, just a little bit below. And for $70 less, I would say it's absolutely worth it. If you guys want to see a full comparison video between this and the Corrado DC, which I also have, I feel like that would be super fun. And to have them compare them side by side, because I haven't fished with them in the same day, in the same conditions. Maybe my mind could be changed on which one I think is better. And uh, obviously, they're both amazing reels, but... Uh, talking about the Corrado K, it is a super smooth reel. If you have any questions, make sure you comment them in the comment section below if I did not go over them today. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was pretty short, pretty to the point, but I just wanted to go over some of these key features on my brand new Shimano Corrado K and uh, kind of go over what I think about it after fishing it for a few days now. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I say, comment any questions you have in the comment section below as well as liking the video, subscribing always helps the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.